We have discussed in the last video the high reactivity of the alkaline methyls, which explain that they never occur in nature in their elementary state, but in combinations containing the plus one ion. According to the go to meets classification, alkaline methyls are lithophiles, so they occur in rocks or remaining close to their surface. Thus, both sodium and potassium are abundant in the Earth's biosphere occurring in crustal rocks such as rock salt, trona, chili salt pizza, or borax in the case of sodium, and sylvite, sylvinite, or carnalite in the case of potassium. On the other hand, lithium, rubidium, and cesium are less abundant and occur as various silicate minerals. Sodium is the most cost-effective alkaline metal and is manufactured by the Downs process, which consists on electrolyzed sodium chloride in molten state. Sodium chloride is easily accessible from evaporation of seawater, where is the major component of the mixture and therefore can be easily separated. It is necessary to maintain sodium and chlorine gas separated in order to avoid that they recombine again to form sodium chloride. And this can be achieved by separating both electrodes by a cylindrical steel goose diaphragm that will keep both reactive elements away. The positive electrode or anode is a road made of, of graphite while the negative electrode or cathode is a ring of steel that goes around the anode. The electrolyte in the reaction is the molten sodium chloride since the solid salt is a poor conductor. In order to lower the cost of production, calcium dichloride is mixed with sodium chloride, which reduces the melting point from 1073 Kelvin to 870 Kelvin. At the end of the process, some calcium impurities are removed by cooling the methyl mixture to 383 Kelvin, which allows calcium to solidify and fall back into the melt. Inside the cell, sodium and chloride ions are free to move in the molten media. Sodium ions are reduced in the cathode, while the negative charged chloride ions are attracted to the anode and oxidized. The reactions that take place in both electrodes are the following. Due to the high working temperature, the sodium metal formed in the cathode turns into molten sodium methyl. The metal flows to the top of the cell since the liquid sodium is lighter than the electrolyte and can be easily drawn off. In the other electrode, chlorine gas barrels up to be collected in a separate comb-shaped brick lined belt at the top center of the vessel. The overall reaction that takes place is the following. Lithium is also obtained by electrolysis of lithium chloride and for potassium the electrolysis process is not recommendable because its solubility in molten potassium chloride which difficults the separation. In this case it results more efficient the reaction of sodium vapor on molten potassium chloride at 1123 Kelvin. Similarly, rubidium and cesium can be obtained from rubidium chloride and cesium chloride using calcium at 1023 Kelvin under reduced pressure. 